Hello and welcome back to episode 23. It is uh, 2.17 p.m. this time, so it's been like 12 hours since I recorded my last episode. Um, I finished replacing all of this stuff. This store, this floor, not store, uh, this floor is going to be my new workstation. Um, this floor, I've added my bed in here. Um, I had to lower it down one because the, the dirt from the <clears throat> the floor above was showing through, like, it's the dirt with the, um, that the pumpkins and melons are on. Or the melons, actually. So, yeah. Um, I was going to move these up there, and then I decided against it for now until I get, until I figure out how I'm going to actually plan the stuff up there. So, um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Changes that I've made. I... I don't remember. This this farm works great, by the way. I've got tons of melons. Um, I mean, I don't need that many melons. <laughs> I don't know why anybody would, but... I've set up the same door that I did last time. Um, except it's it's much cleaner. <laughs> and, uh... It, much cleaner. Like, I'm amazed at how much simpler this one was than the last one. I just put the um, T-flip-flop right here, right behind the button. Um, and then it just pulls the signal out here and goes up to these pistons, and then this one goes down and around to the other pistons on the other side. And uh, there's a button outside that just leads around and comes right back into the T flip flop. So, yeah. So, outside there's a button right here. Um, and I've started digging out my area for my wheat farm. The way I'm going to have it is there's going to be pistons down there, sticky pistons. And they are going to, um, there's going to be water in this hole right here. And all of this area will be tilled soil. And that way, actually, I might have to move this forward one. Or widen the path. I could do that too. Um, because I might do that and just like line this with glowstone so that the, the light reaches all the way across. Because I, I don't remember exactly how long the water will hydrate the, gr the ground for. So... I might have to, actually, I might just be able to put, like, half slabs on top of this and then put water underneath it so that it reaches all the way across and I could make it much longer. Actually, I could make it, like, seven blocks wide. Um, and then I could just flip a switch and all of the all of the wheat stuff would get pushed. Oh, but then I wouldn't be able to collect it very easily. Unless I make a trough right here. Oh, I might even just do that. Um, because that way, if I make the trough here, then... The water will flow out, and it should hydrate up to here. Um, and then it'll come to the trough here, and then it'll just feed down, like, down to the end, wherever that might be. And I'll just collect it there, um, because that would be a lot easier. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, yeah. So that's, that's what I'm planning to do for my wheat farm. I haven't got a cactus farm y going yet. Um, mostly because I have no use for cactus whatsoever, but I will be making one anyway, just in case. Um, I put a little path over here, and I extruded, is that the word? Um, I, I extended this out one block, just because I didn't want to have the glowstone right here, directly next to the pistons, because it just looked weird to me. Um, and I kind of like it. So I've got a little entryway now. Um... I'm debating what I should do up there, like if I should replace that with glowstone, like the whole thing. I don't know if that would look good or not. Um, yeah. I modeled that door over for the wheat farm after this one, so it goes in three blocks, so I can do it like this. Um, because the other one I have a, a wall nearby that I can use to put the buttons on, but with the wheat farm one that one, I don't. Like here, I could just put the button here, instead of having to put it like near the doorway I just stuck it over here but inside I don't have that luxury so I mean I suppose I could just move this in yeah no no I don't um either way this this wall has to be this long I can't I wanted to make it just the three but with trying to put a button nearby I have to make it longer or else because like I can't put it here because then whatever wire I put behind it will be atta will be connected to one of the pistons at least um, so I have to move it over one. And if I move it over one, then I have to have a, a block here. 
so that um, to cover up the redstone because if I didn't have a block here then you'd just be able to see the wire right there unless I just like removed this block but not this one but it would still look weird so yeah um, so the pistons would go where these blocks are I haven't actually started it yet so um, but once I do it'll be pretty much the same as this door and that door over there because I still don't think it's possible to do the door the way I wanted to um, the first time but I don't know so this I think this base is starting to look pretty nice I've got the glowstone and everything I'm really not sure what I'm gonna do with the glowstone over here because if I put the glowstone in this wall then it'll come through to this wall which I could just replace this whole like make a line around this wall with just full of glowstone um, and that would actually fix a lot of my problems um, and then just like have it come down the hallway here and you know back around I wanted to put it in the ceiling, but then I come over here and I'm like, well, you know, I've got, I could put it like here and here so that it's one block out from the corners. But if I do that, then my last one ends up being either on this block or on this block. So it's, it won't end up nicely in the corner. Um, well, let's see if I do this. Um, I'd have a little gap here. Would that be worth it to just have like a gap there? I mean, it would be in the ceiling, not hanging down like this, but um, like, would that look good to have it like that? Maybe if I move these, move all of the chests so that they're um, against the wall, and then just like, I don't know how I do that though. I don't know, um, cause I, like I could just pull this in one block, I guess, and then it would come out nice and even against the corner. Because, I mean, I filled up the one chest with cobblestone, and this one, I'm, I've just barely started putting cobble into that. I don't think I'm going to need the third one, because I don't plan on doing anything big underground. And it doesn't look like I'm going to need the second gravel chest either, so I could just move, get rid of this chest, and get rid of this chest, and then just push these two forward. And then cover up the wall there, and that would work just fine with that. But I would still have to come up. Oh, it's raining. I still have to come up here and do it because this is the ceiling of the floor below. So I'd have to do one, two. Okay, I can't count apparently. Two, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One. I'm, I'm going to use torches because I seriously just can't count right now. Okay, so we have light there, light there, 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 there. there. Oh, lag. Wow. Wow. Oh, you should hear the animals. They sound retarded. All right, so yeah, it comes out nice and clean up here because then I just have them along the floor, um, which is nice. And I think it would look kind of cool. But that really depends on how I put the other stuff up here because, okay, this lag is really making me... This lag is really making me rain, if anybody was wondering. Um, <laughs> the rain makes me lag pretty bad. I don't know why. Just, like, the sound and the animations just ruin my computer. But I'm thinking of making this a very tall room, actually, and pr a bit wider if I can. I don't know if I can, though. Um, because, okay, I just ran back and forth, like, three times, because I couldn't decide what I was doing. I'm going to come down here, and, and, oh, god, the, ugh, it's awful lag. Um... I might be able to make, like, a balcony up there, which would actually be, I think it would be really cool. Just, like, have it go out under this thing. Just hollow it out and, you know, stupid floating block. I removed some floating blocks up there the other day, so that made me happy. <clears throat> um, oh, right, I did... <laughs> Apparently a chicken laid an egg on the half pot. Um, I got rid of the sheep because I've got so... Ugh, my mob trap is working fantastically and I I didn't switch items there <laughs> so I don't know why the pork chop just appeared I don't know what I was holding beforehand oh my god lag this is terrible this is seriously terrible um the um yeah I've got so much string coming from that thing that I've got tons of wool I don't need the sheep for it I get way more from the spiders than I do from the sheep so I got rid of the sheep and moved everything over a bit because I wanted a light. Oops, I stepped on that. Um, 
I wanted the light here, but that was the side of a of a pen, and I was like, that's not gonna work. Um, I ended up putting one here. I don't like how this looks, but I I needed a light there because this area looked really dark, especially because I don't have a light here because of the mushroom farm, which doesn't which doesn't work for crap. Like it's awful. Every once in a while, I come up and there's one mushroom. I mean, I found three the other day, but I was, that was a rare occurrence. Anyway, I'm way over, and I leveled up to 30 so I can enchant the next diamond thing that I make, just so, you know, I have a really powerful enchantment, hopefully. And, okay, I gotta go, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.